Good morning. It's great to have you back. Good morning. It's good to be here. We'll talk about the Fed in a minute, but uh, you did write that uh, 3860 uh, would be important today, and it's roughly where we got our initial bounce uh, this morning. How important is it? Uh, well, it is important along with the others. The uh, Dow actually took out last Thursday's intraday uh, low, but it failed to break 31,000. Um, viewers have to understand the market's weighing each of these little individual items, so um, Clearly, the S&P holding was good. Uh, NASDAQ, strangely, uh, held and then uh, went into plus territory. The, the main contribution, I think, to that was the dip in the 10-year yield. And that's deceptive to a degree because the dip in the yield is part of a flight to safety. So, uh, you know, markets are feeding on each other. I think the most important thing is the S&P holding above its intraday low and the uh, uh, Dow holding above 31,000. All right. We talked a bit about the 10-year this morning uh, at 282 now. Uh, when you couple that with inflation expectations, mortgage originations rolling over, some of these hiring plans we've seen get tailored back, existing uh, this morning at a, the lowest annual rate in a year or two, is that the kind of cooling that you think the market r r wants? Is that a bullish scenario right now? Well, it, you know, it's something that they're watching toward, but I think in its, in its own way, yields and rates are somewhat deceptive. It, it, what you've got to keep an eye on is what the uh, uh, Fed governor uh, alluded to in Steve's interview, and that is when they start reducing that balance sheet, that has not been fully discounted in the stock market yet, and that's going to be really critical. So. Uh, we have to keep our eye on that. For now, the market's taking its own temperature and taking its own pulse to see how it feels. So far today, we're all right. Um, if we break below 31,000, the question will be, do we then get trapped or sell off or do we kind of circle the wagon? So we're testing support in here, Carl. So far, so good. Art, another thing that uh, Steve spoke with Esther George about in Kansas City was this idea that if consumption changes, the Fed may not need to go so far. Given what you've seen out of the retail earnings this week, do you see that starting to take place? And does that give you any optimism that potentially rate rises could be uh, not as high as people were at least indicating in the market so far? Well, I, I have some of that hope, uh, and, and it's partly because of things like we, we saw in the... Uh, uh, Target and Walmart. I mean, two of the greatest retailers in the world. I mean, these people know their game very well. And here they got caught off base in inventories. And part of what they said uh, that was very important and not picked up by enough people was that things like diesel costs were, you know, just the simple delivery of inventory to get it there uh, is going to raise inflation. So we've got a lot of these subsets going on. As far as the Fed, I think. They're, they're stuck, as, as it were, in the next uh, weeks and maybe months, two months maybe. Uh, they, they can't really begin to back off. And it won't just be the stock market. They, they'll be looking for the economic data. But not to beat a dead horse, it's going to be all about the balance sheet. Once they start to move on that, and then we see uh, major changes in, in mortgages and in and, and an already... Uh, shaky housing sector, what happens there, they will be in coming just in the next couple of months. Very important to what happens.